This is the piece of one of the world's most famous cathedrals, Notre Dame in Paris. A stained glass window about to be restored to its former glory after the disastrous blaze of 2019. Notre Dame is my heart, my soul. It's a symbol of Paris. I'm in love with Paris. Rebuilding the church after the inferno is a major challenge. We will show you how much work goes into repairing just four windows. This is not Notre Dame, it's Cologne Cathedral. Many people here also see this as the heart of their city. The idea that the cathedral might burn down is unthinkable. Oh, how terrible. What else could you say? That'd be very, very tragic, I think. The most terrible thing I can imagine. But what does Cologne have to do with Notre Dame? In Cologne Cathedral's glass workshop, Katrin Wittstadt and her team are restoring the four windows from Paris. Their regular job is to maintain the many windows in the Cologne Cathedral. Some of them are over 700 years old. We clean, restore, stick pieces together. We do simply everything we need to to preserve the structure for the future. Notre Dame needs preserving as well, so the Cologne Cathedral Workshop offered its help in the restoration work. With an enormous logistical effort, the four windows were shipped from Paris. First, the team had to clean them. The fire had coated them with toxic lead dust. The worst destruction the flames wrought was on the lead roof and its wood beam truss. The vaulting was damaged as well, so the windows had to be removed. Over 830 million euros in donations have come in for the reconstruction. The cathedral's slated to reopen in late 2024. That deadline is looming. In terms of the specific restoration processes required, the windows aren't all that difficult. So we're fairly relaxed. What's pushing us is the great time pressure imposed by Paris. That's not usual here in the cathedral. But of course we're under that same pressure. The team has 700,000 euros and 13 months to devote to the repair work. It may sound like a lot, but it has to suffice for an impressive 100 square metres of stained glass in need of attention. The repair work is documented down to the smallest detail. The windows must be restored to their original condition. There's not as much damage as you might think after a disaster like that. A few panes with cracks can be cemented together again or we can repair them in some other way. And there are just a few smaller pieces we'll replace. So we have to find the right kind of glass, paint it using the historical methods and refit it into the entire section. Stylistically, the four windows are relatively modern and abstract. They were created in 1965 by the French glass painter Jacques Le Chevalier. Some of his techniques present the team with unexpected challenges. Mr Chevalier also drew with his thumb and it's not easy to imitate. One of us will probably be immortalised with their thumbprint. This isn't the first restoration undertaken on these windows, but some of the previous efforts don't seem to have been quite as conscientious. This isn't even glass. It's plastic, plexiglass. We've never actually had that before. <laughs> Restorer Wiebke Schnippel replaces the fake glass with real glass in the appropriate colours and the many pieces of lead that hold the glass together have to be repaired or replaced. Glass painter Elodie Schneider is here from France. She takes care of those. I think it's incredible and very inspiring to be working on the restoration of Notre Dame here in Cologne Cathedral. It's something extraordinary and unusual that only comes along once in a lifetime. In April 2023, the windows are due to head back to Paris. The installation brings the reopening of the restored Notre Dame one step closer.